I can't take you any closer. I can't break through the planet storm's protective barrier. Wait, does that mean we can't get near it as long as the planet storm is active? There's nothing we can do. Let's head to Grand Coke. The military is keeping the hard data at their headquarters. Understood. But what do we do if it really is Van's replica land up there? Curtis, I'm en route to His Majesty to report on the island floating above the Central Ocean. Have you found anything out about it yet? Chief of Staff Sussman has all the information. He's in the rear conference room. The rear conference room. Let's hurry. have really gone bad, huh? Yes, sir. We've learned that the island floating above the central ocean may be hard. Ah, uh, so it's true. So that really is Well, it's surrounded by a protective barrier formed by... It's impossible to observe from here. Then what led you to suspect it might be hard, sir? It is located exactly where hard was, in the... If it is hard, then we can assume it's a replica created through Fomacry. Yes. Replica data of Hence the new hog. Weren't a lot of seventh phonons being consumed in that area? Correct. Which suggests that all of this was Van's doing. But wait, the replicas were all saying it was Moe's. Sir, several islands in the hot archipelago have disappeared. What do you think, Jay? Perhaps phonons within the two lands are interfering with one another, causing a hyperresonance. Yes, I would imagine that's the case. I'm headed to speak with His Majesty. What's happening, Colonel? Let's go see the King ourselves. This is... Yes, Moe's that bastard. 
This is fine. This isn't good. No, this sort of thing could easily make the citizens... has already begun to degenerate from the neural contempt. Neural contamination? Moe's absorbed many seventh phonons. Moe's consciousness has begun to reject the seventh phonon. He's losing his capacity for... So that's neural contamination. He still created this preposterous new order of Lorelei of his own will. His zeal for the score is beyond all reason. I won't allow someone like him to destroy the order... Let's see the Emperor. Yes, I... Hmm. This extreme a result. For then is a sep. Well, why you talk? Pitiful. It's time. I've heard. They said several islands in the Hod Archipelago have disappeared. Yes. We believe it's due to a quasi-hyperresonance caused by the replica land interacting with the original. Quasi-hyperresonance? The replica land currently expanding around Eldrant is in all likelihood being constructed as replica data is extracted from the world's surface. So, for an instant, the newly created replica and the original share the same seventh phonons. At that time, the interference similar to a hyper-resonance takes place. I'm so lost right now. In other words, the original land is destroyed. Well, then I guess we better stop it soon. Where do you think the Pharmacry facility creating the replica land? On Eldrin, would be my guess. It takes a long time to extract the data from a land... Might we leave this matter to you? We have no means of reaching the sky. Of course. We'll do everything in our power. The Malkuth Armed Forces will secure land defenses. Kim Laska will aid you in that... Natalia, why don't you propose that summit about the score now? Oh, that's right. Kim Laska, Malkuth, and the Order of Lorelei should all come together. They'll be a lot more effective against the new Order of Lorelei that way. Yes, you're right. Perhaps now is the time for such a gathering. If your majesties would grant us your presence, we could also discuss strategies against Eldrind. What are you all suggesting? Guy, explain. Isn't that Natalia's job? Very well. I'll make the time whenever you wish. Is Doth an acceptable location? Yes, I think that would be best. King Ingobert is already aware of the situation, so that leaves Teodoro next, right? Yes, let's head to Yulia City. So you were out here. Largo! You certainly took your time. Not that I was eager to see you again. <laughs> Arietta says she'll meet you in the Jiggle Wood. Arietta? So she really wants to go through with this? She wants to fight in our forest? I wonder why there of all places. That was where her mother died. So you're her mediator. Then if Arietta should lose, you're the next in line to fight. No, I'm only here to move things along. And I can't imagine Arietta losing. Okay. Time to teach that Arietta a lesson. Annis, you okay? You look like you're pushing yourself a bit. Isn't there someone else you should be worrying about more than... Who? Natalia? He hasn't realized how badly she was hurt. He's still not very sensitive to these things. What? What are you guys talking about? You'll figure it out.
They're really gone. Wait here, you guys. Annis, are you planning on going alone? Yes, this is my problem. Like hell it is. Ion was our friend too. If this is about him, then it's our problem. All of us. You're our friend too, Annis. Me? The one who was spying on you this whole time? You didn't have any other choice, did you? Arietta will have all our monster friends. We should keep things fair. Ion sacrificed himself to save me. <sighs> I'm not sure about friend, but I suppose we do have an awkward bond of sorts. You would say something like that, Colonel. Okay, all right. All of you, you're coming with me. Right. Finally, I was getting tired of sitting around. I've been waiting. All right, let's get this over with. What a lively little girl. I'll fight with my friends. You fight as a group of four, too. Arietta, you've helped us in the past. Can't we talk this over? That was to help Ion. But Ion is dead. Your deaths will be for Mommy. Annis, yours is for Ion. For Van, too. I'll finish all of... Don't act all innocent. You killed everyone on the Tartarus under Van's order. You're not the only one who wants Ben. Annis, prepare. Your Ion, Mommy, and everyone dead. I'm not looking for your forgiveness, but I won't lose either. If you're going to fight Annis, you'll have to fight us too. understand that that is part of the soldier's job. Van. I... Arietta. Mommy. Everyone. I own... Arietta. Annis, don't cry or apologize over the corpse of your enemy. You'll only insult her. Arietta risked her life fighting for her goal. Pitying her means mocking the ideals she fought for. Yeah. The one true shame is that she couldn't witness the rebirth of the Isle of Ferris. If that's how you feel, why didn't you stop her? She resolved herself to do this, even if it cost her her life. Arietta felt indebted to Ion. Van and those monsters for their help. It's only natural that she would fight for them. Even though Van was only deceiving her? He wasn't deceiving her. Arietta would have killed herself if she knew the real phone master had died. That was Van's kind. So Arietta joined the six god generals to repay that debt. What about you, Badak? That name died long ago. In the Sea of Batacle, where my wife sleeps. I see. So you found it. So you won't introduce yourself? What's the point? An enemy's an enemy. It's as simple as that. The next time we meet will be the day I kill you all. I'll avenge Arietta then. Luke, what was that all about? I'm sorry, I can't tell you right now. But you'll promise to tell me later? Yes, I pro- All right. We can't just hang around here all day. Weren't we headed to Yulia City for that summit about the sc Yeah, you're right. Annis, you okay to head out? Yeah, I'm fine. Then let's go.